こんにちは、Japan fans。In today's show, we are going to look at a very key gap as it relates to buyers. ザ・営業です。それでは行きましょう。So let's get going. This is the fifth year of the Sales Japan Series podcast broadcasting around the world from the Beverly Hills of Japan, Minatoku, here in downtown Tokyo. It is Chic Central. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, your corporate coaching and training guy, committed to your success, the president. Of Dale Carnegie Training Tokyo Japan and the three time best selling author of Japan Sales Mastery, Japan Business Mastery, Japan Presentations Mastery, and now my new book in Japanese, Za Eigyo, is available on Amazon. In this podcast, I want to help you to survive COVID 19. Don't forget. To subscribe and share this podcast with your family, friends, and colleagues. We are not being sponsored by Libsyn, but we value your privacy, which is why we have our podcast host by Libsyn, who, unlike many other podcast hosts, have a strict policy that does not allow access to your private information by anyone. Here is our daily podcast lineup on iTunes Mondays, the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, Tuesdays, the Presentation Japan Series, every second Tuesday. The Business Touches in No Oshie Show. Wednesdays, the Sales Japan Series. Thursdays, the Leadership Japan Series. And every second Thursday, the Business Pro Podcast Show. Fridays, the Japan Business Mastery Show. And Saturdays, Japan's top business interviews. This is episode number 270. Today, we're talking about the buyer's gap. Clients don't need to do anything. We discover this unfortunate fact very quickly in sales. We also discover they are never on our timetable of what needs to happen. They can stay with the same supplier or they can make no changes to their current situation. Neither of those are helpful for a salesperson. There must be some driver for the buyer to take action and take action right now. There has to be a gap. Between where they are now and where they want to be. This gap can be quite clear to the buyer, but even that doesn't mean they will take any action. If they think they can get to where they need to be to bridge that gap using their own resources, they will not pay for anyone to help them. Often, when we meet the buyer, they have super strong self belief, they can do it all by themselves. It's a salesperson's job to really test that self belief. This comes down to our communication skills. Can we show some different view of the problem? Can we offer some insight that the buyer hasn't considered as yet? Can we show that they are a lot further from where they need to be and that they can't get there by themselves? Of course, we're going to use logic to get them to move. But that may not be enough. Can we get them emotionally involved in a better solution to the problem using us rather than launching their own DIY campaign internally? This intervention requires a great deal of subtlety and diplomacy because no buyer likes to be told they are wrong or made to look insufficient in their capability to run their business successfully. Leaders have a lot of self belief in their own capacity. So we are treading on dangerous ground here. So we have to be careful with the words we use and how we use them. Energetically pointing out some major gap in their analysis of the situation may make us feel good, but the buyer eh, won't necessarily appreciate it or want to believe it. It all depends on how we frame the conversation. And how we point out what they are missing. The best form of persuasion is they self persuade. We ask some very intelligently constructed questions 
which lead them to the conclusion they cannot do this completely by themselves. Find out more. We come back from the break. Our show today is brought to you by our public programs, but we also do custom-made in-house classes. Now, we do them in our super safe classroom. We do them live online, and we do them in Japanese, and we do them in English. Today's show is being sponsored by our Dale Carnegie course. The main modules take 12 weeks. That starts on the 2nd of February, 2022. Our High Impact Presentations is a wonderful program, two-day program, two instructors, everything videoed, amazing presentations program. That starts on the 3rd of February. On the 8th of February, we will be doing our four-week main modules over four weeks confident English program. On the 14th of February, we will start our seven-week main modules for the Leadership Training for Managers program. Check out our website, www.com dale d-a-l-e hyphen carnegie c-a-r-n-e-g-i-e dot c-o dot j-p get my best-selling books japan sales mastery that's the bible for selling in japan and japan business mastery and my new book japan presentations mastery and they're all available on amazon if you like learning by watching videos then we have over 1,000 there for you at tokyo japan Dale Carnegie TV on YouTube. We release three TV shows every week on YouTube. The Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, that's the premier business show in Japan, comes out Mondays. Fridays, the Japan Business Mastery Show, and Saturdays, Japan's top business interviews, where I interview leaders in Japan from SMEs all the way up to the corporate captains of industry on one topic leading. In Japan. Now, every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro TV show. And don't forget, you can email me at greg.story at dalecarnegie.com. Welcome back. If we can make the argument for change now, then we have a chance of making the sale. The client may agree that the gap is there. They may agree that they can't bridge that gap themselves. None of this necessarily means they're going to take any action, though, and involve us in solving the problem. They may feel they will get to it at some unspecified and vague point in the future. Or they feel they will get around to it when they are good and ready because there's no hurry. We can never have complete knowledge of what is going on in their organization, how the investment monies are being allocated, and what help they can expect from headquarters, or which big deals are coming down the pike. We cannot be phased by these thoughts, though, and we have to push hard for action now. The gap has to have pain attached to it by us. We know that we are all more motivated by reducing pain than increasing gain. We have to paint a word picture of how much their non-action is really costing them. We have to show them that now is a time to act and further delays will be very detrimental. This is not that easy because we are talking in terms of supposition. When we talk about the opportunity cost of no action, that can be a very theoretical idea and not necessarily something that's going to inspire the buyer to leap into action and hire us to solve their problem. We need to bring hard evidence to the argument when we talk about the losses associated with the opportunity cost of taking no action. Unless we can paint a picture with concrete numbers, then the urgency isn't going to be felt. We may not have all of the numbers, but we can at least start asking the right questions to get the numbers we need or have the client start to consider the numbers for themselves. When we are doing the questioning phase of the sales call, we need 
to be threading in the implications of not fixing their problems immediately. These implication questions are key and have to be delivered in the right format. This is not easy, but that is the skill of the salesperson. We must be up to the task or go and find another profession because this skill set is central to whether we will be successful or not in this art of selling. Thank you for joining the Sales Japan series. If you found the program useful, please work on your karma and share with your family, friends, and colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast immediately. Apply what you've learned today. Use it and go out there and survive. Remember, I'm your corporate coaching and training guy in your corner, committed to your success here in Nippon. Nippon.